in our study, we didn't find any significant effects, neither on uh, team three expression, nor of PDL1 expression, nor CD47 expression. Uh, so we can say that at least our treatment is kind of uh, neutral to these uh, parameters. Uh, it is not so bad. Uh, but of course, uh, when we talk about the treatment, we have only to demonstrate how our constructions, how our drug molecules could be internalized into the cells. Uh, and for this, uh, we have to use some visualiz visualization approaches. We used uh, the complexation with a siRNA, fluorescent labeled siRNA, uh, and the complexes with our dendron molecules. Uh, to show how these complexes, how these dendrons could be internalized into the tumor cells. Uh, and here you can see our data uh, and uh, our um, most representative pictures. Uh, so uh, we can see that the efficacy of internalization of complexes of the dendron of uh, second generation is not so high, but for the third generation, it is similar to standard used uh, lipofectamine 3000, uh, so we can say that uh, our dendrons could be uh, used, uh, could be at first internalized into the tumor cells, and possibly they could be in theory used as a vehicle for the uh, nucleic acid uh, transportation. And this approach is really uh, encouraging and uh, inspirational. Uh, so we decided to try this approach for targeting some particular uh, kinase, some particular uh, point, and we use uh, one of the uh, kinases of the family of SRC kinases, which are tightly related to the tumor development in the case of glioblastoma particularly. And uh, here you can see this picture again and uh, some literature, uh, literature data. We used the lean kinase, one of the member uh, of tyrosine kinase family. Uh, it is really interesting how it works in case of uh, tumors and the glioblastomas, uh, but the effect of uh, lean kinase expression in uh, glioblastoma is still under discussion. Uh, so we supposed it could be really interesting uh, to use it as a target. Uh, here you can see the data uh, about the characterization of the particles uh, after complexation with the uh, SI lean uh, RNA. Uh, so this uh, investigation uh, show us the optimal charge ratio and the concentration diapason. Uh, and in the next step, we use these complexes to treat our cells. Here we used two types of cell cultures, GHH500, which was demonstrated to express lean kinase uh, in a rather high level, and NCH644, which are supposed, which was demonstrated to express uh, lean kinase in a low level. Uh, and here you can see that the effect of our treatment uh, depends on many factors. At first, of course, cell line, uh, the effect are different. And here you can see the short resume. Uh, then the effect could, depends, uh, could depend on the generation of our dendrons. And uh, uh, it also proves the hypothesis of generation, depend, uh, generation effect, generation dependence. Uh, and as well, uh, the concentration also could affect uh, the toxicity. Interestingly, uh, different complexes could have the different effect of the different type cells, uh, and this effect could also depend on the uh, lean expression. For example, here you can see that, uh, so to say, lean negative cells are less sensitive to the complexes treatment but not for digit 2 complexes. Uh, and this data is really interesting and um, really shows us that we have to uh, 
uh, think about all the parameters of our models and our treatments. So to conclude our results, we can say that in our study, dendromers demonstrated their own anti-tumor activity, uh, and it's really promising that uh, this activity was shown to be higher than in um, Then uh, the dose-dependent effect uh, was also observed, and a generation effect. Uh, this effect uh, depends on chemical structure and uh, generation of dendritic molecule, as well as on cell type. Uh, and the expression of target molecule uh, changes the effect of the complexes. Uh, so to summarize this data, we can say that in our opinion, this uh, dendron-based dendron approach uh, showed really promising results and uh, could be studied further uh, to, to prove uh, its efficacy. Uh, in some particular cases of tumors uh, as a lonely drug or as a component of combination therapy as well. Thank you very much for, for your uh, attention and thank you very much for all the people who helped uh, in this project. So th uh, thank you, Nadezhda. Uh, so it's, it was really interesting. So uh, are there questions? Uh, any question to, to Nadezhda from audience? Uh, so it seems none, but if somebody no, no, wants no. to Sil ask, oh, perfect. Silvestre, Silvestre uh, would like to ask you something. Please, Hi, Silvestre. Thank you very much uh, for your talk. I, I wanted to come back to a remark you made about the U87. You said they were, yes. you put them in suspension, right? So wh what do you yes. mean exactly with that? Do you, do you, do you mean they are really growing in suspension, or do you mean they are uh, growing on a on a surf on a plastic surface at the bottom of the well, like like a regular silicon line? Uh, well, it is a really interesting question. Um, in our study, uh, so we worked with the glioblastoma stem-like cells, and they are cultivated in a serum-free media because in the case of uh, serum presence, they started to differentiate, so the model changed the properties. Okay. Uh, and for adequate comparison, we uh, used U87, but as you know, it is growing as adhesive cells in the serum-containing medium. So to uh, diminish this, we cultivated as a suspension cells in a serum-free medium. So it's completely suspension state uh, without uh, adhesive adhesion to plastic. Okay, and they, they are happy uh, like that. I mean, they, they can grow normal. more more than happy. I have to. They're say. more than happy to grow in solution. I didn't it's, know that. It's it seems they are pretty robust and they can yeah. eat every every medium they have. So I can say they yeah yeah they they grow pretty nice. Okay, and when you say serum free, you really mean there is no FCS. So like you just use the medium. Yes. FCS yes, it was it it was the same DMM F12 medium as we used uh, for the other cell cultures. Well, it is, it is a big problem for the investigation of uh, dendrons and actually for the all nanoparticles we use because the serum presence changed the properties of the molecules sure. we <laughs> investigate. Agree. Yes, and uh, sometimes, uh, unfortunately, uh, it changes the results of the experiments as well. Yeah. The purpose why we did this is basically to uh, standardize the culture condition as most as possible, but still have the comparison between a basic... Uh, yeah, I would say um, insufficient disease model versus a more advanced disease model. U87 is, you know, a little bit old and has been passaged multiple times and has been standardized with uh, serum growth. So there are studies out there that it um, lost its uh, stem cell phenotype. So and then the others we used my models where we basically directly uh, applied the neuro stem cell condition uh, from, from the patient on never see plastic basically. Yeah, thank you very much for the comment. <laughs> thank you. Great. I I saw I saw some comment in the meeting chat, but but uh, on my screen I cannot find it anymore. Nadezhda, do you see? Ah, yeah. Uh, it's comment from Claudia Martins. Nice work. What is the yeah. hypothesized mechanism for dendromous anti-tumor activity on GSC model? Uh, thank you very much for a kind uh, comment. 
Well, uh, it is really, really interesting question, and uh, I um, hope we will perform the next, the further experiments, uh, because uh, it seems that the regular method of uh, measurement of uh, anti-apoptotic activity was not very su su sufficient. So. Um, I'm afraid the answer on this question is a point of the next or further studies, uh, but I, I hope we will find the answer. So yeah, thank and you. I follow up on this one brief question. So basically the U87 in, uh, didn't respond, which is remarkable, I think, because just with a comment for a short answer, they still similar like proliferative active than the stem cell model, right? It's not dependent on, on the simple phenotype that, you know, internalization based on the cell division. This is mode of mm -hmm. action, hemozolomide. So this seems not to be the case, right? They grow similar speed than the stem cell models. Yes, yes, yes. I, I cannot say that uh, this changing uh, of uh, conditions uh, changed really the viability and grow mm -hmm. uh, because they were really successful in growing. And uh, the uh, as well, we we compared with a non-treated control, yeah, with a, some normalization of uh, Similar, not okay. yes, yes, yes. So this uh, normalization allows us to compare, I guess. Okay, thank you. I am afraid that we do not have any more time for additional questions, but uh, but uh, uh, good luck with with uh, uh, additional experiment, Nadezhda. Thank you very much.